Good morning, children. In our EVS class, in the block neighborhood, we are going to learn a story, the enormous turnip. What is enormous? Enormous is big, very big. And it is a turnip. Usually, the turnip is very small now here if you see in the story there is a farmer and the farmer name is gopi he is the farmer he is a farmer and one day he planted some turnip seeds and let's see what happened next Turn to the page. Gopi, the farmer, planted some turnip seeds one day. So, he planted turnip seeds. Now, let's see what happened. They grew and grew and grew near a bundle of hay. It started growing next to the hay. Hay is nothing but a, but a dried grass. Turnips don't grow so big and fat. Here if you see, the turnip is very big and fat. But usually the turnips are very small and light, white and pink in color. Let me pull it out and show Pat. So, Gopi thought he will show it to Pat. Gopi pulled and pulled and pulled the turnip. Ho! Oh, he fell and lost his grip. Now, Gopi started pulling the turnip. But, he lost his grip and he fell down. Now let's see what happened next. Turn to the page children. Now Gopi went and called Pat. Now he is Pat. He called Pat who lived in town to help pull the turnip out of the ground. He wanted to take the help of Pat to pull the turnip out of the ground. They pulled and pulled and pulled the turnip. Ho! Oh, they fell and lost their grip. Now both of them tried but still they couldn't pull the turnip from the ground and they fell and lost their grip. Now let's see whom they are calling. So they called Peter. Now the farmer called the bat and both of them went and called Peter. So they called Peter who lived in town to help pull the turnip out of the ground. They pulled and pulled and pulled the turnip. Ho! Oh, they fell and lost their grip. So, three of them tried. Still, they couldn't pull the turnip out of the ground. Let's see what they are doing next. Now, farmer called Pat. They both went and called Peter. Still, they couldn't do it. They went and called Lata. So, Gopi, the farmer, Pat, Peter called Lata, who lived in town, to help pull the turnip out of the ground. They pulled and pulled 
and pull the turnip. Ho! Oh, they fell and lost their grip. Mm -hmm -hmm. No help. All of them tried but they couldn't pull out the turnip from the ground. Now let's see what happened next. Oh, if you see in the picture, the farmer fell from his bed. Why? The alarm clock buzzed. Ha! screamed Gopi as he fell. Because in his dream, he's trying to pull out the turnip. So the fell and lost their grip. In the same way, he fell from his bed. Turnips are not so big and fat. That is just a dream I had. Oh, then once he got up, he thought, Oh, the turnip doesn't go, grow so big and fat. It is just my dream. But when he is in need of a help, he called out his neighbors and they came to help him out. So, as a good neighbor, you should always help out your neighbors. You should be a good neighbor to the people who are living next to your place. You should help your neighbors. You should not trouble your neighbors. You should not fight with your neighbors. These are the qualities of a good neighbor. So, you should be a good neighbor to anyone who is living next to your place. Okay, children? This lesson teaches to be a good neighbor. Okay? You once again read out the lesson, the story from the book and follow the video for the blog. I will see you in the next class. Bye-bye children.